Simon Bianconi, I'm the president of the Northwest Open City chapter and the co-chair of this conference. And it is my pleasure to introduce our uh, plenary speaker, Professor Odegi, who is really the history of uh, photonics and of the solid state uh, program at our university, which pretty much so that we have to offer as more professor. And it's a pleasure to have her uh, give this presentation for us. She received her doctorate at, in Sciences Physique from uh, the University of Paris in France in 1980. After that, she headed the Exploratory Material Lab at Thomson CSF in France, and then she joined Northwestern University as Walter P. Martin Professor and Director of the Center for Quantum Devices in the fall 1991, where she created the undergraduate and graduate program in solid state engineering. She is one of the leading scientists in the field of semiconductor science and technology of quantum materials and devices. She has authored or co-authored more than a thousand papers, more than 32 book chapters and 19 books, and has given more than a thousand invited and plenary talks. <laughs> Her current research interest is in nanoscale optotronics, quantum devices and systems from D2B to terahertz. She's a fellow of MRS, IOP, IEEE, APS, SPIE, OSA, a fellow and life member of the Society of Women Engineers of the International Engin Engineering Consortium, and a member of the Electrochemical Society, ACS and AAMS. She received many awards. Uh, the IBM Europe Science and Technology Prize in 1987, the Achievement Award from the Society of Women Engineering in 1995, uh, the IBM Faculty Award in 2013, the Jan Chokarski Gold Medal in 2016, and the Benjamin Franklin Award in Electrical Engineering in 2018, and many Best Paper Awards. She's an elected life fellow of Society of Women Engineering and the PMS, and she will give a presentation on the power of semiconductor materials innovation, breaking spectrum and performance barriers for quantum devices. With that, Please join me in welcoming Professor Lee. Good afternoon, everybody. I have to say that I'm here for you. And 1,000 talks that I gave and I'm giving everywhere around the world, including SBIE, I have to say that my most important one is the one that I'm giving always for the different chapter of the OSA and different universities, and especially this one, for the reason that you can see here that I put, please, that as you can see here, today, this student, all of you, you tried to bring even me to come to give the talk for all of you. So I'm grateful to have especially all of my genius students in the class and at the same time the part of the future. So listen, let me to explain to you your next chapter is the light and matter. So what is the light and matter? All of you, you are the future. For me, you are the future generation for to bring really much more thought and understanding of the structure of only hydrogen. That is one electron and disabled proton. And that is great, not only matter and lot. If you understand the structure, only the structure of the really hydrogen atom. After that, all of you, you can understand many different problems of the quantum vacuum, the Clasimir force, or the plasmonic, or anything else that you can see, you can understand much, much better and to solve many problems. So, I want to attract the attention of all of you because one of my ideas, I think, and we are going to see that my talk today is only for all of you, for the young and genius student. Why I am feeling young and genius? Because if Sunday, Saturday, you 
are kind and to organize it, this kind of meeting, it needs that to have passion. All right, so the talk that I'm giving has to be a concept. The example, inspiration, and a path for your future. So follow me, and I'm going to explain at the beginning a little introduction, what that means of the After that, I'm going to explain to you who am I, how, what I did, what am I doing, and what is my purpose for the future, and at the same time, the conclusion. So come here, again, look at that here, what that means, the if, the light, and matter. If you take the atom, the electronic transition in atom can generate light. And that is the detection of the power energy detection and giving light. Now, this light, just as I was last week in Ecolomal Superior in Pisa, and that for the PhD class of the, one of the really genius students of quantum cascade, on the quantum cascade laser. And I was telling that, yes, the question was, what's the basic of laser? I said, that is that. You are learning from the nature. Say that, what is the stimulation? The very simple. If you have another atom, this one is going to, again, to excite the another electron, and that is the stimulation. So you can see that the basic of the detection and light, earth, and the matter, they are connected with each other and they see them. So, if I come here, the color of light, the energy of light, depends on the energy, on the energy difference between difference, again, the electronic and the orbital in the atom. So, by changing, understanding that, based on the, again, the different material, a stimulation, a stimulation, you can have the light from the very, very high energy, short wavelength, X-ray, gamma, UV, come up to the heroin and beyond. So by that, what you can do, again, that is the plane, matter and light. Matter, again, as I explained to you, detection and emission. So here, then you have the say that that is, is it a really, is it light or wave? So we say that the electron is running around the, around the nucleus, we have electric light or electricity. But at the same time, we have a spin of the electron that is roaming around the orbit. So we have magnetic at the same time. So together, we make giving us electromagnetic wave or light. So last century, not only last century, many, many centuries, everybody tried to understand really what is the light and the most important part last century we try to understand the structure of atom. What is that? And that it was thanks to quantum mechanics that brings some insight for us. But for all of you, the young generation, I'm telling you, everything that we have, that is the hypothesis. They are they are finding that there are some new understanding, similar to this that in the universe every day we are discovering some new star and new phenomena. It's very similar. It means that it's a starting. So now, if you are coming to see that in the law of science, again, it was understanding of the genes and cell structure, again, coming back, thanks to the atom. Coming to computer and internet, electronic, coming back again to the structure of atom, transistor. So now, if I take one only, one element, that is telling that so many conditions. And again, I would like to come back to here to attract the attention of all of you, the material, why is important, that is the S orbital, D orbital, Q orbital, F orbital. If you understand that, you can really not only 
to solve, to create a lot of different states. Laser, reflector, and the transistor pack sent on a lot of, uh, solve a lot of biological problems, and at the center of electronic problems. So here, I am coming to say that Tony Conductor, because just recently they found that even any material that we have in the periodic table with the thin layer, they are semiconductor. What does mean so in any, the need of any individual in the society, from food, energy, entertainment, everything, you have one device based on semiconductor. So what was exactly what does mean if I take only the part of the T orbital of the periodic table that you can see that here, okay. If I can take that here, I would love to attract the attention of all of you. I'm sure that because even the, uh, the young students, <laughs> all of the two to three, they are here at the same time. I want to attract the attention of all of you again to say that. Then you come to the P shape, according to the last energy level quantum mechanism, you have eight, you have to have eight electrons. So they put them together, or chlorine four, 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 silicon, germanium, and especially carbon. I explain to all of you, but I would love to explain again because in the chair, in the uh, in my fourth edition of the fundamental of solid state engineering, I increased a chapter for the carbon and I wrote a book for the carbon for all of you as a textbook that is going to come out end of the year. And next year, you are going for the solid state engineering to the to uh, party for the for all of you. So here, all you need is to take atom of carbon. That last energy level has four electrons. Connection of the different atom of the carbon together can give from diamond, that is the hardest material, to come to the graphene. That is the softest material, zero energy gap. So only by connection together, so we can understand by understanding the really the structure of atoms of each element in the periodic table, you can solve many problems, many problems. And to understand, and especially my objective to all of you is always, is the human, human being, all of our problems. Because most of the element and all of the, when you are speaking DNA or all of the protein, different protein, is the base or chain of the carbon, different connection with one, two different impurity. And this connection can change everything. So by telling that, unfortunately, the colon four or silicon that is the best, best element for the transistor. And that we know that because God gave the beautiful silicon dioxide, silicon neutron, is the exactly the same lattice parameter as silicon for the passivation. Some of you, you know, you don't know, you don't know, you don't for the transistor is very important. 99% of all of them, the, the, the way the cycle and all of the transistor based the, 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 the riddle is silicon. But thanks God that column four, they are covenant, but they are in dialect gap. <coughs> and the structure, symmetric structure, is diamond. And as it's diamond, so it's not good for to make semiconductor lasers or the electron. But if I'm coming to the column three, column four, last energy level, Three electron, last energy level, five electron, we put together, and that we can have, we say that three, five semiconductors, they have covalent bonding, very strong, but they have at the same time the blank structure and the dark gap, so that they are excellent for to make any wavelength laser, dark laser that you want. And then you call at the same time, the vector from the beauty of the terror itself. Again, the matter and light, you are going to see that that is the best element. Not only it was, not only it is, it's continued to be forever. It means that 
for to have high power lasers and the high performance detector and imager, that is the material of choice. But again, as you know, if it's perfect, we cannot do anything. So in order to make it useful, we have to increase some defect. And the defect point, defect, it means an impurity to make it or pit off or end on. It increase one element that has, uh, as an example, column six, uh, can increase one electron, we say that enthalpy, and if we increase one of the element of column two, we say that that is the Peter. So by that, we can make PA junction, and by that, we can make the different, different device. But look at here, if you use very simple time banding model, by doing the atomic and gap engineering mixing of the column three, column four, you can create the light, the laser, and the detection of light detector from big UV of the terabytes. But how is possible? That is because possible thanks to the first Chokrovsky, exactly Chokrovsky for the scientist, for the chemist from the Poland 100 years ago when he was, he was putting his thing in a state of in the ink, he put in the molten zinc, and it was the starting of the crystal growth, and that later on, of course, many scientists around the world, and especially Bella, they thought and to complete the Chokrovsky method that they can have bulk crystal growth. It means that for any things that we do, we need, we need a kind of support, and the support that is bulk crystal growth, and that today, when you have the silicon, or most of the, the, the gallium mass around in the football of the different crystal, we use this technique of the Chokrovsky. But if you have only the crystal, you cannot do different color of the laser or the detector, detector that you want. So what you are using, you are using the efficacy. It means that atomic engineering to put atom by atom together. And the different bond for that is the different technique, different phase efficacy, MBE, MOCDD, vapor phase efficacy, and different, each of them they have some advantages, some problems, but you cannot again to do anything if to make the quantum device if you have not the photolithography. So putting that together and coming to learning from the again the quantum mechanic to put it together. If you have only bulk material, silicon, endophosphate, gallium azuron, the energy gap as function of density of the state is parabolic. So the device that you are doing is not going to be very efficient. Now, if you increase the efficacy, now you can have the different material and to make quantum well. So density of the state as function of energy, it becomes a step of behavior you try to trap electrons in one direction, one dimension, and to make some devices that give the special match, the wavelength that you need, and much more efficient. And now, if you are coming to use the photolithography at the same time, so you can make the quantum wire, quantum dots, and at the same time, density of the state and function of energy, so you have much more control of the electron and control of the, the baby of the day that you need. So in this case, you are, in, in this case, you are coming, sorry, it's going to be, yes, you are coming to do the, the if I'm coming back here again, this one, yes, sir. you are coming to have much better, much more efficient device. Last century, we understood the structure of atom, but that we can have artificial atom or quantum dots. We learn what is the molecule to have artificial molecule or quantum wire, and for that to have much better performance device. Now, if I'm coming to nature, here you can have the electron, the electron in the lattice, part of the center of nature is what? If you have not the crystal, but the nano crystal with the different material, and we can have one dimension, two dimension, three dimension, photonic crystal, and nature gave us already 
because the, all of the color of the, the water flood is based on the photonic crystal. It's based, again, the people, it's based on the crystal. So we are learning from the nature, how nature thought of already to put the light and matter together. Now look at here, the most important, the, the inspiration comes from nature, from ourselves. Look at the human sense. All of the human sense is based on non technology It's based on the very, very small dimension. And that all of the million and million sensors give the information through the neuron, the very small change of the charge, that is 7 million electron volt, and information go to the brain, and brain play the role of the, again, the signal processing, cognition, emotion, judgment, everything. So last century we try to understand, and still we continue to understand what's going on. But not this century, we try to meet the nature. What we do, I'm giving you one example. We try to understand how the eyes is working. We know already that our eyes have three kind of the you can of the sensor, blue, green, red, and by that you can see all of the different colors. But unfortunately, but unfortunately, we cannot see all of the different colors. Why? Because our eyes can see only a small part of the electromagnetic field. They and electromagnetic field, they, 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 they spectrum. So what we do, we try to relay on the technology for doing the physical atom, exactly as I mentioned, in the column 3.5, I'm going to show you how we can be able to from UV up to terahertz, but the equivalent of the odds we use the material, very simple, I'm going to show you how it's possible the 3.5, and equivalent that you put together and you have the focal plane, optical bond, detection bond, detection of the light, and at the same time, equivalent of the brain through electronic transistor adding and you put together and you create the artificial eyes. So exactly here, that you can see here, you can see that is the artificial eyes that we can create. So the things that I, our eyes cannot see at low temperature, at low in the dark, or at any level where the wavelength UV you can see. So, Let's to see here. Now, I'm comparing two things. One part, again, the matter, electronic, the electronic part, it means that the electronic part that is the, the without integrated circuit or all of the, 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 the microprocessor that you have, with the exactly the focal frame, the camera that we have. As function of time, we try to decrease the dilation not to nature, and increase the number. Here we have the number of human brain. Here we have the number of human brain synapses. And here we have the molecular dimension. All of you, your brain is working, is using approximately five watts. But the difference, when you are working like me, you can have even more, 10 watts. But the microprocessor, is the, even the most important part one use 20 watts and have a still much less 20,000 times the brain has more than, again, the cell. So as you can see, we try to meet the nature. It means that we try to, to come, because the most important part to the objective is how we are, we are doing the information and to, to have the storage of the information. More and more, you are seeing that we have the computer, quantum computing, optical computing, quantum computing, and etc. But still, when you are seeing here, if you are coming with the optical storage, that is the part that we can do. And that is the, again, the last time. If we go to the magnetic storage, we can increase, but we decrease at the same time. The right time. We go to the charge storage. Look at that. We can go up to two terabits. 
But if you go to the nature, you can have more than 600 tropics and more than 1 million years. And that is based on what? That is based again on the childhood days that he has explained to you very simple. So that is the direction that we go. So understanding is one part, but after that the technology, it becomes a kind of much more difficult and important. So now here, let me to explain to you who am I, how I started, and that is the part that is the Benjamin Franklin they prepared, they prepared, and I would love to play for you, because some of you may be uh, you saw already, but some know, so we put it here again. Okay. Yes. Iranian-born physicist Manisha Razini has already changed the world with the laser that carries the internet under the sea and the new tech inside airport body scanners, but she's not finished. I said, my God, please, wait, don't kill me. Let me to finish to see the result before to go home. <laughs> The unique forms of light created in Rizzini's world-class quantum devices lab at Northwestern University are about to power two more world-changing technologies, a super-speed wireless internet and a laser that can make explosives shine through luggage and clothes. So I get married at the age of the 15 years old. I got my high school with the three children, but at the same time, continuing exactly and never missing even one other step, neither from school nor from my duty as a mother. Rosini never gave up on education, and by her early 20s, against unbelievable odds, the mother of three was studying nuclear physics at Tehran University, on a path to change the world with laser light. What's the difference between a radio wave, a microwave, and sunshine? Believe it or not, it's all the same stuff, light, photons moving through space. But here's the difference. Notice this photon oscillating as it travels. The faster the oscillation, the higher the frequency. That's it. Radio waves, visible light, x-rays, and beyond. Everything on the electromagnetic spectrum from left to right is just light moving at increasing frequencies. We use different frequencies of light to transmit wireless data. Now here's a key point. Higher frequencies generally mean faster wireless data speeds. So how fast can we go? Gamma waves have the highest frequency. They could allow downloading of thousands of full-length movies a second. But whoops, all light rays from gamma down to UV damage our bodies and don't travel well in the atmosphere. So what's left? Well, forget visible light. That's the sun's territory. And we're already broadcasting on these slower frequencies. So transmitting faster than we transmit today leaves us here, below infrared, but above microwaves, in a section called the terahertz spectrum. In the 1980s, producing terahertz light signals could only be done with an ultra-cold temperature laser, impractical for communications outside of the research facility. Many scientists thought this was the end of the line for terahertz communication. Working at the Exploratory Materials Lab at defense contractor Thompson CFS in Orsay, France, Rizzini thought otherwise. Is all of the, the secret of the source is in the periodic table. And that's exactly where she turned. Using a semiconductor called indium phosphide, she eliminated the need for cold temperatures, shocking her colleagues with a room temperature laser that made terahertz transmission practical for the first time. He said, in one years, we're going to become famous in the world. Everywhere they wanted to have me, especially, especially in the United States, for this technique because it's about changing everything. Currently, a German laser system based on Brzezicki's work operates at a speed capable of transmitting roughly 13 HD feature films in a second. But there's more. Just as X-ray light penetrates most soft tissue and bounces off hard bone, some terahertz frequency light penetrates suitcases and makes explosives shine. Pioneered in Rizzini's lab, devices smaller than a shoebox can see bombs and other volatile chemicals in luggage and beneath clothes. These devices can be made cheaply and are easily installable at airports, on buses, and subways, and at stadium turnstiles. After more than 30 years of engineering groundbreaking quantum devices, Brazilia is still riding the waves toward future discoveries, propelled by the same sources of energy that have fueled one of the most impressive careers in communications physics. Curiosity. Curiosity. Passion. That's it. To have, really, again, passion to, to understand 
spend some day and they commit it. That's the two elements. Not the deaths. Okay, so that is a good place for doing the last. That is was for all of you, especially independent of them, race, sex, nationality, and religion. No excuses for anyone. So I'm going to explain to you how I did what was from the beginning the thought that I got in your situation, your age, and up to now, and what is the future. So here, again, it be no yes. What was that? When I got very young, like all of you, I was very curious. Curious about one thing. They were telling that, yes, some of my family, they were smoking. And they said that that is going to create the concept, especially my father and my husband. Said. And they were saying, no, their uncle is living 90 years, 95 years old, and smoking, and no problem. So it was the curiosity for me to understand what is the reason. So I tried to do the nuclear physics and to do the neutron activation analysis and trace elements by my spectroscopy in the different cigarette, fume of cigarette, and for to understand what is the, really the different element, and to understand the correlation between that and the human cell. But unfortunately, I got uh, one day the high dose of the radioactivity, both the dose and it forbid me to continue. But if you look here, as you can see, all of the, most of the element in the periodic table are in true to understand how it's working to get the radioactivity to do that with the atomic nuclear with the reactor to make them to become radioactive. So after that, I try to, to go toward the more fundamental part. It means that to the crystal itself. And to understand because the matter we are speaking, this conference is about the matter and the light. So to come today again the matter to the crystal and to do the to understand that why the difference form in the crystal and difference change in the crystal as function of temperature. So I was very, very curious exactly, exactly my book that you can see, step by step, that is my way that I try to understand the science. So I came to character calculation of the crystal field and doing the paramagnetic, electron paramagnetic resonance spectroscopy with the, some of the, the Paramagnetic ion, such as because the paramagnetic ion it means that this shell material. This shell material, gadolinium, manganese, and at the same time, I was lucky because I was the best, uh, the, the lab with the best professor in France, uh, the, uh, that he was the best in the world to have some special crystal with the material, and that I tried to do. Again, many nice things, many nice results that are coming up and to understand and to create a lot of, at the same time, the curiosity in the, 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 the scientific the, the, the community, but unfortunately, that the Muller, that he got the Nobel Prize with vendors for the, uh, the high PC uh, in 1987, he was coming, everybody was coming. The question was, what is the application of phase transmission? I was doing a lot of theory, a lot of beautiful science, physics, but I didn't know. So I was curious in order to understand the application is important. Because if you do only the theory, if you do only the research, but do not have any reason beyond why you are doing it, was so side by side of the Orson University, it was the central research lab. Uh, of Thompson that it was famous for the Galio And it was very prestigious, long balance. So I went there for, to understand a little about technology. So I went there, the first question from me, it was, uh, they asked, if I know what is the Galio I said that, no, it's not something of German. I said that, I don't, if I know, they showed me a very something said that that is reactor, I said that for the first time, this is Indian phosphor that is black magic, and nobody, 
Nobody can understand and give it. But it was the channel for the telecommunication and for the telecommunication optical, silicon optical fiber telecommunication, the laser 1.3, 1.4 motor was crucial. And they had the liquid laser frequency, and that they called the technique that never could create a high quality and especially distributed feedback that is necessary. So I didn't know anything. But then they measured that for the first time in the world, an application for telecommunication, that it was an initiative for China to say that, I don't know what has been everything that you are telling me, but if there is anybody who can do something, if I love, and I think that it's important, I can do it. So what I do, mean? I want all of these students to follow me, please, especially all of the students. Look at that. It was in your first part that was here and then you must have. So immediately I tried to understand what that's what happened the background. So I did exactly to put that exactly as I mentioned, the binary challenge for the lady, to put this element in your personal schedule macro together, and that <coughs> it was the best calculation and the diagram that was created. And I tried to put exactly these two systems, one it was for the one for the one for the one for the and another it was for the yellow macro, 800, 980, again for the silicon optical fiber to understand that, so that it was here, that exactly as you can see, I went there for one month, they insisted to keep me there, and that I created again the border, the result, change the telecommunication, and as you can see here, okay. but as you can see that I didn't have time to change my name. <laughs> <one day. laughs> so, and at the same time, so what was here, that it was very interesting, because uh, here, that is my first PhD student in front, the Olivia Shea, and Evan began that some of you don't know, and that he is not the president of the, uh, the, the director of the innovation of Bolivar. And Mahan Dufu from Epo Norman, that he is not the vice president of the Halles 130,000 uh, on Green, and he's going to come at the same time here the, uh, the, the January 9. And that is my daughter, that she is the daughter, the CEO of the Nanovation in Paris. But in my group, as you can see, I didn't have any, even only one CB Joshu, and everybody that you can see here, they were coming to visit and to sign the book that we have, and that's the same thing because the result that we have. It was only during 10 years, Thompson was only placed in the world that we could have 1.3, 1.5 motron because exactly the technology that was developed and that for the MOCBD and that it was for some of you, for the students to see that, it was the laser conference, MOCBD conference in Japan, and always the first speaker, which you know is very important. So it was, they could have arrived the, with the Dr. Mandigi at Thompson in a keynote address, art now, the sheer diversity and potential of the MOBP is the catalyst of first of new material, higher mobility, sharpest integrate, new device, one delegate described that there will be as a Madonna of MOBP in her growth sort of Paris producing material miracle. Why another refer to this part of both as the essential driving force in the development of MOBP and etc. So it changed the world. You have to know that. During 10 years at Thompson, I was only one in the world to do super that is MOC 1.3, 1.4, 1.4, everything. And that it was, is change telecommunication. The first, exactly, the, the, the many places that they tried to harm me, and it was at your first day that it did a change going at the time, that they came two years that they were telling, and they were really still to just fill up or delay, and they said that if you are coming, you are going to give me the last, uh, the last pair of this building, and they explained that uh, everybody they brought before, they become theoreticians because they hired me at the same time, visiting Kuyong Kino at the same time, that is a politician, and at the same time, Roger Shank, that the great the, the computer scientist, 
that no, he's voting for the President Trump at the same time. But say that you are only one that we can do and we cannot have you. What is the condition that we can have you? Because I knew how difficult it is. I knew it's exactly, especially at university, and especially environment that they have no clue what that means. And at the same time, it's so demanding, it's so difficult. So that it was the reason I accepted only because for the last floor to build everything. And I started exactly as you can see, they chose the six million because the facilities that were put together with the one billion, you cannot do that. But that it was only the money for the finishing the floor. Okay, the, 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 the last floor. And that they put that probably is the highest, highest in 20 years. You have to understand that they did everything and started. But what I did, only with the student of all of you, I started here for a scratch. All of that, that is my own design. The fifth floor, and at the same time, the fourth floor that you have, some of you, you are your familiar to build everything and starting and to create. I didn't accept any administration because immediately they want me to spill, they want me for the team, chair, everything, but the vice president. Never, I wanted to create this, uh, again, facility that is unique today for all of you, not only in that our system, in the United States, in the world. So that, I created the undergraduate graduate of physics and engineering because they wanted to better to make the department of that that I did that. And I created all of the class that all of you are following and continuing to have great faculty. First of all, the great the, the, the textbook for you and that is the, this one that is the fourth edition and that at the same time that's the first edition and the most edition that is the material that is here. It's not only today, you have to understand that in 50 years, 100 years, is going to be always the textbook of the day. This year, I understood that chicken, that it was the very famous in Pasari, and that everybody was comparing this book with the kitten. But the kitten, it was only silicon, and this one is for everything you are doing at this time. But I put that here, great faculty. Great faculty, here you can see, that is the, for the woman of any number, 23 my students. And the, 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 the Steve Smith and the number 24, Roy McClinton's number 13, and number 46, that is the, 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 the professor, senior like that, that they are, uh, they are here. And that, uh, if you see here, on created the center, that is the multidisciplinary, because everything that we do is multidisciplinary. It needs that. Uh, you need to know physics, chemistry, material science, mechanical engineering, electrical, bio, everything, and mathematics, of course, that is the tool you have to know. So we do everything from the design, material, characterization, optical, electrical, structural, fabrication, everything. And what we do, the most important part, it was uh, after one and a half years that I inaugurated with the two Nobel Prize, the way that we complete things. And here, that is Dr. Steve Spielberg that you can see here, all right? And that, again, one of my undergraduate students, the, 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 the Kupri, the, that he is, for your information, he is the board of the, the body of the ECA at Northwestern, and he's making, he's the president of the department. He's making more than one billion per year for your information. But that, the professor, or simply the, the, the professor Wong, that he is a, a member of the academic science in Chongchong. And all of them, that, uh, Patrick is a professor at the University of Alabama, professor at the University of the, 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 the Hong Kong, and to all of them. And that, that is the Jim Ho, that's a big director at the, the, the Fermi Lab. So all of them, they are, they, they are great, and the Christian that is the people at the Northern Roman Ethical. So what we did, I would love to, again, to show you 
this video because that is again important for the for that. I have had the pleasure of uh, working extensively with uh, Professor Rashidi since she uh, arrived on the scene uh, with apocalyptic force uh, <laughs> three or four years ago. And uh, we've developed uh, uh, a close and clearly defined relationship uh, that's coordinated, if not symbiotic. Uh, she corrects my English, and I correct her French, and she makes requests, and I write checks. <laughs> we had our clean rooms arranged in the, in, as I said, in the main building, and she spotted the, the uh, fourth floor again, overlooking the lake, and the views of uh, downtown Chicago when the weather's nice. And she decided that she wanted her clean rooms up there, and we had a very distinguished faculty member Wessels was sitting here was very kind enough to give up several thousand square feet. <laughs> <laughs> what he did set out to do was to attract Professor Rizzini to Northwestern. And as uh, Jerry indicated, that was a non-trivial affair. She has become known locally as the $6 million woman. <laughs> <laughs> there is a familiar biblical prophecy that says the uh, meek shall inherit the earth. Uh, much as probably the uh, finest living counterexample that I have. <laughs> She's established a new tradition in the university, and uh, this is a multicultural one of uh, serving champagne and bagels at the least provocation. <laughs> one of our, our goals is to try to develop enterprises that generate first class science uh, that, in particular, has high potential for application to significant problems. And I can't think of a better example uh, as an illustration uh, of this. Uh, we're extremely pleased uh, and highly supportive of the center's developments. Uh, we're proud of having Professor Riziki at Northwestern. We thank you all for uh, traveling some, I appreciate, from a considerable distance to join us in participating uh, in this inaugural workshop. We wanted to, to get a strong device, group, device person here, and it took three years really to, uh, to identify and bring Rezeki here, and uh, it was really, during the process, was quite long, and uh, uh, I wouldn't say without pain. And it was, at the end of it, the department really became poor, but very famous. As chairman of the ECS, I would like to add my thanks to all of you for coming here from all over the world. And it's really a most impressive collection of research and it's a tribute to uh, Manisha that he managed to invite you to get you all to come here. Uh, I know she's very, very persuasive. I've counted uh, more than 90 attendees. Uh, again, if I forget your institution, uh, my apologies, I, don't, I didn't count exactly, but we have MIT, Cornell, Michigan, Illinois, uh, Santa Barbara, USC, UCLA, University of Cincinnati, Sukhumar University, Max Planck Institute, uh, Boise University, Motorola, uh, Amoco, Hewlett Packard, Microcore, McDonnell Douglas, Coffee Corporation, TRW, AT&T Labs, Interbank, Madison, MyRad, Morton, Thompson, CSF, uh, NTT, and uh, all agencies. I couldn't really remember all. I know there was a Navy, Air Force, uh, Pentagon, and uh, if I forgot any, uh, my partner. Who? Darpa, of course, yeah. Go. The theory of relativity is right. Uh, uh, I knew that uh, Professor Azegi moved with velocity of light, and one of the results of that is uh, that there's time contra contraction. Uh, my speech was supposed to be 40 minutes, then it became 20, 30, then it became 25, now it's 20. So, so things are in, 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 in a relativistic time frame. Uh, uh, I decided to come only to, 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 to convince. Uh, uh, Professor Azeki, that I won't hold against her that uh, she will not come to bed as an Suddenly, this is a good example. You have high quality materials, but she has probably hoped that Madame Dadei will produce, and also you have very precise fiber fabrication techniques. Of course, you need brain. <laughs> <laughs>
as a like a radio mention, in the third year later, it's much less proportional to the size. So we call it functional laser technology that was called compact lasers. I'm glad we had to try to get this talk going after the talk passed. So it should be called the time. I'm going to talk today about a collaboration that I had recently uh, between the Northwestern University Coastal Corporation and our laboratorial. I want to thank Professor Rashidi for inviting me here. It's certainly an honor and privilege to be able to come to you today and talk to you briefly about the Army Research Office, where I've been a program manager for a couple of years now. Now, uh, I'm one of the Professor Rajali's uh, sponsors, and I'm very happy to have become a sponsor. Actually, uh, some of the previous pleasure to obtain part of the contract is our uh, first event to Iranian, and the second event to the treaty. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to uh, thank uh, Manajay for inviting me to tell you about very, very small quantum structures. Uh, these quantum structures are only seven angstroms, less than one uh, uh, nanometer. And um, I'd like to thank uh, again, uh, Manajay and uh, collaborators. I figured out how much time I had, 20 minutes, and all the things I wanted to say, which is three topics, there was only one solution, is to talk faster than I have. So means talking at a rate of roughly two billion per minute. Now I'd like you to introduce you again to the uh, six million dollar woman. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's now seven million dollars. <laughs> Dr. Zaki. <laughs> I go first very fast UV. What we did in UV? 
And I will tell you, because they do shot from the SPLE, the most important SPLE 1995, they came in France, and SPLE, the first conference that they organized, they came to ask me to do that. And they are telling that it was the only demand that they lost money that SPLE, it becomes SPLE that is today. All of the people that they do so, do show and do demonstrate it, you have to know that what is there, that that they thought and the respect for the for me and the work that I did and I am doing that they thought. So here, as you can see here, first they started by that. But by, first they started by not sure. Why? UV. UV is very, very, very important. You have to understand that that is done for the space, for the the brain at the same time and the human hair process understanding, we need to have the UV both detection and emission. So I started by that boy because always what's the application to have? Because I am at university, I'm working for what? For my students. The students for what? Because they have to have the job. And at the same time, money is coming from the government and the country. So it has to be useful for everybody. That's the reason you have to know that. All of my students, without exception, everywhere they want them, and they have a kind of reputation that they are the best, they are knowledgeable, honest, they have discipline, hard worker, and at the same time, they, have, they are productive. So that we started immediately. I started for Chinatra because that it was very simple. You have no, you have to, that, that didn't need any special level of safety and decay. Immediately, that as I mentioned, look, material. Material is the population. So I tried to develop the machine because that is very important. Again, it's the emotivity, better organization because they were the position. And still, that is the system that we are using. But some of you, the material scientists, uh, that you can understand, look at here how we can have to control at home by at home, but to do what? To complete it exactly as you can see. The detector and the student that she did, one of that at this time, she is the director of the, and uh, she is the vice president of the Global GE. All right, and that we did all of the, the LED that Roy and Peter that is sitting here and at the same time Roy, all of that it was for the first time. For some of you who have to understand, if you have the anthrax, a few molecule of anthrax, if you show the 280, immediately you can create the fluorescence and if you have the detector, you can detect. So that is again, it's a very important elevated all of that that is done for the first time in the world at no space and at this time that is the huge project for the future and just the student did the first lasers so that Nakamura got Nobel Prize a few uh, years ago and the first laser after Japan it was here and all of the aluminum that you know John, and any any that I showed you it was at no space and that you are going to have and that I don't especially nobody could understand and at the same time, it was the problem everybody is speaking about the, the impeachment that is not true. So that the, the bill that's called that say that if you are sending to us, you are giving to uh, the uh, Nakamura to, uh, to, to leave you, and it was the leaders of the Nakamura. The leaders found this paper to be a pleasure to read, and the leaders comment, excellent results on blue laser. And all of the in the students that you saw their picture. No. A, I mentioned that objective is at the same time to have arms. If you especially you have laser, you have detector, you need to have the focal barrier. So that is a very complicated, I'm going to later on to explain to you, but that it was the subject of the Professor Roy Nakito that is sitting there. Here, that it was his PhD, that it was for the world first, and now, 20 to 15 years later, that we have, that is the subject everybody working, and to put on silicon, that is the unit to the Northwestern, to our group, and again, as you can see here, the, the book, and it's continuing, but the thanks to the, from the first day, everything that we do for the first songs, we create a lot of work for the difference in the government 
country and in the world and going and at this time I took at the same time many patents because you are going to speak about the patents at the same time that I'm showing to all of you to understand. The patent, the patent attorney, because four of my students are patent attorney in Chicago and one of them called Ramuba that is sitting here at the same time. They have first to understand in order to be able to have to understand the value and to make the order patent that you can even understand the value of my patent. And then none of them expect, and if they understood that they love, they could make billions, but nothing. But one thing, why I'm continuing? Because one part, the government, they all they know that here is only one that they can be. But for the genius student that you can see here, that is the luxury good I will tell you that is the one month he's here and continuing. He had the fellow from the Cornell University with much higher salary. He put that to come to North Western to a group just he was uh, from a month at Monday to give a talk about the work that he's doing. That is impressive what he's doing. ABD for the UV, that is our big project with the DARPA and is very important. And that is this group of students that I am here and I am doing and we are doing everything that is the future. Now let's to go very fast to the other subject. Again, the yellow mass of yellow and green mass of only for you. That is what the material that everybody was doing, but unfortunately it is a technique that it's, it was not reliable. So I changed here immediately. It was my pattern that I choose the material that has exactly as I showed at the beginning, the quaternity and the gallium aluminum free, and immediately on came here, it was dark off. And at the same time, what happened? We did that change in the telecommunication and change high power laser condition, and that is the exactly, as you can see, the large sum, everything is in my second book here, because that, and after that, the nature because they were saying that what I'm not going to publish in nature immediately, which but what was that? That changed everything. Changed the oil of the laser. So the, the price from the one thousand per day what came to the one dollar per watt. Now coming to the again in the first part, which was the dream of the pharma from again everybody sees 40 years working. 50 years, especially the Japanese for the telecommunication, but they have the technique of liquid free technique. It was impossible to do the quantum wave superlative. So I developed that and changed again everything. As you can see here, that is laser on silicon that I did at this time. Some of you don't know, but that is the dream for the silicon, the, the silicon photonic chip. And that here, and that is what at 1988, the first continuous phase laser, and now, at 30 years later, everybody watching for that, and still they are following this work. And now coming to the, again, large and magnet to go to the high power laser, continuous different phase, coming because any day they can use it. So that is what, again, why we do that, because there are many different applications from the medical, from communication, from the, the gas sensing, everything. So what we did, there, there are two ways that you can do. Or you can come up with the, again, intercept band and the material, or then you go to the longer wavelength, unfortunately due to the chain key. So that is very difficult, you can go to the intercept band. And that, again, how you can do that, very fast, I'm giving you, that is what, again, when there is a key, Nobel Prize at 1970 came with the ideas of the superlatives. Immediately, Kazan Novak, two other scientists from Russia, they said that it's the intercept and we can do. And it took that, that they here, they get born at Northwestern, by having the new gross technique that I developed again that is that shows molecular dimensionality and coming, coming to the again. The diode that you can see here, exactly as you said, you have to have thousand, two thousand layer atom by atom to control and that to come in to have high power, the result that I'm showing, because if you do only and to publish, nobody can believe that. So that is the laser that we gave to the daylight. That is one of the very famous 
the industry in the United States. And this result that I'm showing you here, only I want to explain to you, is unique in the world based on that. Everybody follow me. Everybody, and based on that, they try to create a lot of different projects and the difference, you know, in everyday activity. But one of the most important part for the first time, Homeland Security came to North Western to give us the project because they wanted to have a system that for the all of the, the detection of the everyday TNT. So they needed one system that for from the six to ten micro without any again the uh, the external part and that it was the piece that began the work of the student or the student the major the, the zoo that they put at the North system is exceptional and North system is that it is only performance of the tree to develop and who was the other one it was again Cabasso that you saw another one it was Kumar Patil that you saw both suffered for the inauguration that they are the best in the world so now it's coming here. From the first day that he started, it was the PhD of the Philippine uh, at the same time. And up to now, everything that you can see is unique, or the first, or the best, at most best, day, thanks to all of the students that we have. But it's not, at the same time, the undergraduate, because that is the undergraduate, as you can see, uh, the, uh, the Andy and the BK Pignet, that his picture is on that. Both of them, they are taking that. And their objective is to make that using our project casket. And at the same time, the picture that I'm going to show you for the bracket detection. It means that if you have, as an example, the cold or cancer or anything, that in the bracket there are some change of the CO2 or the uh, ammonia or the difference gas. That is the best thing, and that is their objective. And they are working. And you have to know that in summer time, you were coming at 6, 6, 30 in the morning. They were there and they were working and they continue. Now I'm coming the last part is the terrorists. Why terrorists is important? Because it's going to penetrate through the tissues, bones for the different application, again for the difference with the, the, with the communication for many different. But what's the problem? The problem is there is no diode lasers. There is no unfortunately the detector block the things that we develop for the telecommunication or for the, uh, the mid internet. So we change again that it was always, I have to thank all of my program manager, one of them from DARPA asked me to give a tutorial on the terabytes uh, lasers. So immediately I put my group to see that what we can do and we can use using a lot of, again, what? Because it's application. That is future. Everything that you can see today, there is nothing but in 10 years, 20, 30, 40 years, that they are the area that is going to set the, the subject of the research. And that's what we did. We came immediately, rapidly, by using the, the different techniques, using all the lasers, and we came to demonstrate, and that to have the room temperature, and that is the future again. I mean, we need the genius student to work because it's very hard. Needs a lot of passion, background, knowledge, and hard working to make it continue, to make it uh, uh, to become useful for everybody. Now, room temperature, high power frequency code. Some of you, you know that, okay, if you see that Nobel Prize came in 2004, but that has the story of just the paper came out from our group, room temperature. Terrorist frequency code for many applications that again that is future and that I'm expecting many genius students in future can continue this kind of work in Northwestern. Now, the last part is a detection. Everything that I explained for the initial unit at the same time with detection. For the detection, we my name is Menashe Razidi, Vice Pimoti Professor of Electrical Engineering at Northwestern University. Okay, so what we did, what we need. The things that we need is the following. We need for the detection, similar to the laser, we need to have room temperature, multicolor, multicolor board, because your eyes have three colors. In order to have the different color, we need more to have the color, more you can have different performance. So what we did, again, it was 
reproductive turning rate to six, that is only 60 billion per year. Let's go for that because that is an everything opportunity. It's classified for the big company. And I came here to US and the West Bank. And I brought the three balls in the Motimos, in the Masolo Motimos. And all of that, and look at the, look at the result now. First, we come for the quantum quick quantum brain infrared photo detector using the quantum dots everything. But if you can see here, it's going. And immediately, as you can see, you can come up that all of that is done for the first time at the first time and in our group. But exactly as you can see, that opportunity is very normal. So what we did immediately, we tried to go today again to talk to. I'm not going to the top to, to explain, but I can explain to you exactly as you can see the, the camera that is here. And I encourage you to go to the website if you would love to understand more. But all of the technology that we did is transferred to the industry. And that only I would love to show you a liquid that to set the vista. That is the product, that is the five minutes uh, video that I don't believe that we have time. How much time do you have? So, uh, uh, absolutely. So, but it's very important because it's this the program, the government that you can see, that to say that how is important, but they put that in the list of most leading DOD contractor participants in this stuff has her student, L3, HRA, clear, list of program. Her group's research is also very impressive, always has a lot of results, and very quickly, she is having difficulty working with industry because nobody could keep pace with her, but the impact of her research is significant to the three-fold important field. So they have all of my students, and as you can see here, the board first, the focal parents, the commentators first, everything is the transfer all of the great students, and that is the thing that is continuing. But my name is continuing. Okay, continuing, again, look at here. That is very important, because that is future, again, all of that they are the huge contract and the research that we have, and I would love to show you again another of new PhD student. Jockey is one year at this time. He is just working in the top. He is pushing some of the very, very important project for the HPT, that is the DARPA project that we have, and that at the same time, undergraduate, using the laser and the detector that we have for the, and using for the first time, need infrared for the free space communication using RQCM and the room temperature top two that you can see that is LED at the base. And at the same time, Stefan, one is Stefan is responsible for the detector, detection part, LED for the emission part, log the two others, and that is the again the future that you are working on the graduate. So now I would love like to show you only before to finish the one thing. Look at that. That is the government people that are trained. Currently, no system has no technology with government has team trained and also as the board leaders, for the testing, for two laser, ultra, ultra, maybe the, 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 UV FDA, my focal family, UV lasers, and that government needs and say that, okay, we have to give an exactly say that in all of the area, no system is not only in the top, or is the first, or is the best, and thanks to who? All of the students, because that is the I'm teaching only to take on the graduate and to bring that dog still 18 years old, growing 18 years old, and that then you can see that, and, and all of the, 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 the genius students that are working. Now, the final silicon photonic that you are hearing, that is, I'm not going to the details, only to say that that is again another student. This result that you can see, you pay one billion today, nobody in the board can do that. But it's done at security and we have a contract again with the Navy and at the same with the and they did it your deed for that and the students venture to immediately the higher team with the very high salary in the uh, in the case of that is working. So at this time there are the many new material 
ya no muxo ay que ya en diha de diha que in the gay packet and they have the big contract is coming from airports and it's extorting uh, from the GT, so on to block to tell you only one thing. Again, for the packet, again, because that is the key talk. This one, because everybody doing their books on this very important for the call for the transit store, but nobody can make a key talk. Immediately they ask me that we do here at the system, and we did that rapidly, we got the key talk and on Twitter, immediately the packet, they saw no space then, then to take the packet 24 hours because they understood the important. And our government, uh, the, the, the program manager, insisted be careful with the packet because all of this project is going to be in 10 years, 20 years, 30 years to become very, very important. Similar to this that I did 30 years ago, now it becomes important that all of that, that is for the future. Now, only I would like to say that what is the future? Matter and at the same time long term. Going toward again a smaller, a smaller and more efficient. But now, only for you to say that uh, since the dawn of artificial law from 130 years ago, engineering materials have been the key to producing law from incandescent bulbs to laser to photonic quantum computers. The complexity of material has accelerated to produce light with ever more control for ever more refined application. Bonded only by the creative power of the human mind, this is the only focus, light matter. We delve into the important task of addressing the material that move and agitate in the generation of or response to the photon, illuminating our minds of the next revolution of understanding ourselves and universe. So please be sure that, again, don't forget light is the foundation of the universe. Let there be light, let there be curiosity, let there be research, and let there be knowledge. For that, I would love to thank again all of this round of form. It is impossible without the excellent program manager that we have from the US students at US that are coming to us, some especially genius student postdoc, this is faculty that we have, of course, administration was present that and I'm absolutely at home <coughs> because it was there that I learned really so computer after my exam structure. So by that I would like to stop here and to encourage again all of you, all of the a student, when you go to the lab, when you go to the class to have a purpose, don't go for to have a great Have a purpose and say that what is going to be your death, fingerprint in the advancement of science in the world and what you can do. Because you, your role as a scientist is very, very important for the future generation. On that, thanks again for spending the time, even Saturday afternoon, and to this event. Thanks again.
for to understand exactly the problem of the Christian Magia everything, that everything that for the boy, you have to understand that all. You have a little less, little, you have a brain problem. You have a little, a little less sodium or potassium to catch cold or that. That is what they brought me this, the, at the university. The boss, they sent us at the special engineering. We have no science, nothing. So that is what the reason I created the fundamental of social engineering as it. And my book, I started by the atom and crystal and powerful undergraduate, those that they took to do tree with me, and they know that. I am every day, I'm expecting, I'm explaining the importance of understanding of the structure of the atom, because everything is related to, to that. We don't care because of the this of all from that they to shop, and that they arrive and say that don't do that because it's more, more to be needed. I said that no the structure of atom if you understand, because the difference more to how they deconnect the each other. And the carbon again is an excellent example to say that how it changes. So objectively, yes, we need to have from the first, from the beginning, yes, to put the easy chemistry bio together. They are basic and all connected. So that today, this meeting is the matter, matter, lot, and matter, I love that. That is that if everybody knows the game of Ripley in 50 years, but if we understand that all of this connection with each other, that is changing. Then you are speaking about the Casimir box, you know what that means. Any element that you can see, you have the chalk when you are using it, because when any element, I have that here. The last atom here, they are open. You have the charge here. So the charge, if you have the detector, can attract immediately, immediately, everything that there is that. That is the surface dark current. Or for the passive, or when you have the, all of the food that you are eating, and everything for us, for it, all of that, what we need, what is the structure, protein structure, and how, we understand that, and after that, for the solution for the eliminating the problem. And there is nobody, nobody is the same as we know that. The, the 99 percent of the DNA of all of us trees, everything is the same. Only the impurity in each one that is that. So that is the thing that we have to understand. So my objective is please start exactly as I am doing for the most of the engineering, understanding the structure of atom and the quantum mechanics associated with it, not the formula. Because everybody, unfortunately, we go, all of the book is full of formula, but not really to explain what that means. Okay, so that is my day, and that is the thing that I try to really push it. And there are many places around the world, in the US, in, 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 in Europe, and in China, in the Japan, and in the US, and the everybody follows this. You have to know, because then you have the bachelor of science. It's important that the engineering, you don't know what this means, I don't know how it's possible. You don't even know the system that you want to do, or everything that you want to do. So objective answer to your question, yes. You have to do much more a step that you are doing the science. Matter, not okay, it means necessary for everybody, but the physical chemistry and body, they are connected with each other. And they start with your project, exactly. I explain again, try please everybody to understand the, that is the very between them, and that, that is that, that is answer to your question. And you are going to see that, that is the real, but then you go to, Listening, I'm going to the website and Google. You are going to have all of these big scientists that I'm not going to go the name that explaining some of these phenomena that we have black money or between crystal or at the same time the casino force. Then they are speaking. I said, Oh my gosh, you can do what is that? Or then you are seeing that all of it, they can deliver what is not working. So, so one thing that I want to, to say again. 
according to that. I want to attract your attention of all of you. If you can understand the structure of atom, the most important discovery of the next century, it will be high TC, high temperature superconductor. That can change everything. The carbon we got already one of the pros for the carbon was you bought. You said that it's impossible to have pentagon and you show that yes, it's possible. Nobel Prize. We got the second Nobel Prize in photography. And now, 100%, that is my prediction that the, another Nobel Prize is going to come for the understanding and the understanding of something hard to research at the RTC. So, conclusion to you, my dear, we have to put everybody for the Bachelor of Science and at the, at the, at the school, stay. Science, math, science, physics, chemistry, and